all the way from Hungary, Bar Bomb Shave Cream and Aftershave. We're going to have a shave with them coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarvinGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Great to see you again. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave cream and aftershave in the shave den all the way from Hungary. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, a while ago, a viewer named Oren Eliasar from Israel recommended Barbon Shave Cream and Aftershave from Hungary. And as you know, I have Hungarian roots, Hungarian ancestry, and right now I'm wearing my Hard Rock Cafe Budapest shirt that I received from my uh, sister-in-law Marilyn one Christmas. And you can't see it here. I'll edit in uh, a separate camera angle of it so you can see that. So I got my Hungarian shirt on. I've got my Hungarian shave cream and my Hungarian aftershave. We're going to have a shave with both of these. So I'm really, really excited to use these. Uh, Oren Eliasar said it's a very, very good shave cream and the aftershave, uh, both very, very good. I've already test drove. I've already had a test drive with them already, but that was a few weeks ago, so this is still going to be kind of a new experience for me. Um, viewer Abane Samantha is also very familiar with the Barbon brand of shave cream and aftershave, and he commented that the secret ingredient in these is chlorophyll. Uh, so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that as well. Uh, on first use, it reminded me of the Palmolive shave cream scent wise, so it's kind of got that similarity there, although. Barbons is uh, chlorophyll, and the palm olive is, uh, I guess, the uh, palm oil, uh, as I recall correctly. So we're going to have a shave with that. We're going to we're going to we're going to create a lather with that. I'm going to use my Paul Gruner lathering bowl. I got some hot water in there right now. We're going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0. Uh, we are going to use from Pearl Shaving the Flexi adjustable razor right here. Now, I've got two days worth of beard growth, and I hope you can see that right there. So I skipped a day so I'd have enough beard growth to test out the lathering quality of the barbon and also so we could photograph a little bit more for you. All right, so we're going to use the Pearl Flexi to do the shade, and the blade is going to be a new one, A-Best. We have talked about these on the Monday morning mailbag. So we're going to use an A-Best razor blade. Going to finish it off with an Allen block from Phoenix Shaving. And also, of course, you saw this already, the aftershave, the Barbon aftershave. And for a little bit of balm upstairs, we're going to use Phoenix Shaving's Mysterium Serum. So got some hot water in there. The, the brush is going to be this one right here. This is my Peregrino right here. Okay. Okay, you got that green handle going on there because of the chlorophyll and the green um, labeling, the green tube and uh, the green quality of the aftershave, chlorophyll green, kind of got that kind of theme going on right now. Okay, so that's probably got uh, everything right now. So you know what? Let's load a razor blade right now and we'll get right to the shade. We'll start building the lather. First thing before we do anything else, we also have a hot towel in the hot towel cabinet. And we're going to definitely kick it off with a hot towel. We're going to build our lather first, but we are going to kick it off with a, uh, a hot towel. So let me just uh, load this A-Best razor blade. Uh, let me see if you can see that there. Uh, flip it around this way, like that. A-Best, okay? And we're going to lay that in there like that. All right. Get that in there like that. And then we are going to, hopefully, okay, hopefully that aligns correctly. Okay, I think that's got it. Yeah, I think that has it. Yep. Blade alignment and balance spot on. 
and tabs are enclosed in the razor head and we are going to start this well i've already had it there okay at about three and a half can you see that about three and a half so that's where we're going to start it i also have the stand right here and i hope to make use of the pearl flexi stand right there like that so we'll have that there it also has a nice rubberized padded base so it's not going to slip around it's going to sit right there on the sink right there so it's right there. It's not going to slip off anywhere. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get this hot water out of this um, Paul Gruner lathering bowl. And let's get some of this. Well, look at that. It, that sure does look like the palm olive. You know, it comes out kind of green like that. That sure does look like the palm olive, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely has a very, very distinct scent. There, is, but, but again, it, it's it's... It's distinct, but it also has a little bit of that familiarity there to it. It sure does. Okay, I'm just going to lay that in there like that. Got a little bit of water left in there, sloshing around a little bit. So we've got that in there, in there like that. Let's get the uh, the brush here. I'm going to give this a good shake. A good shake and a good ring. I'm going to put a little bit of the remnant from my finger in there. And we got some, a little bit of water there. So let's go ahead and build a lather and see what we get. Look at that. Man, that's starting to really go. This Peregrino brush is a really terrific brush. This is a great brush. It really is. And notice how it's not clanging around the bowl, even though I'm holding it on its side. The, the uh, Paul Gruner shaving bowl has this nice lip that kind of rolls over, so it really kind of holds that lather in there. Oh man, that is really what that is. That is, it's similar to the palm olive, but boy, that's different. That's got a little bit of a different kind of kick to it, no doubt about it. My gosh, that's really fantastic. Wow, we've got, and this is really building some lather there. You saw how much I used. I am going to get a little bit of water and see if I can get generate a little more here from a little more water. And it looks like I am going to be able to do that. Look how quickly that built a lather. Isn't that marvelous? That's absolutely fantastic. Boy, I tell you what, viewers, <laughs> Beth Jones and Jimmy V and uh, Bill Murphy and I think William Meredith, Mark Bagwell, many others out there if i forgot anybody forgive me alex lopez i think said you know what you're going to be a bull you're going to we're going to make you into a bull lather and sure enough they did and look at that look at that boom the lather <laughs> oh wow look at all that lather. that really lathers a treat my gosh that just lathered right up i have more than enough there all right showing you the uh Using the Paul Bruner bowl also because of the uh, the uh, kind of an earthly tone to it here also that kind of pulls into the uh, kind of goes along with the chlorophyll kind of theme has these nice earth tones but also a good contrast to show you the the beautiful white lather that we have in there. All right, let me wet the face. Let me grab a hot towel. Okay, now I got this nice hot towel here, and I'm using the thicker towel. Yeah, definitely using the thicker towel this time around because it retains more heat. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see the steam coming up. Ooh, man, is that, oh, wow. Okay, ooh, my mirror is steaming up from this. Yeah, the thicker towel definitely, definitely retains more heat. I see the steam coming off of it. I don't see the steam coming off of the thinner towels like I do with the thicker towel. My gosh, that is, that's marvelous. And you might see a little more redness to my face. You don't see that with the thinner towels. These thicker towels really do retain the heat uh, much, much more. My gosh. That's terrific. Wow. All right. Let's just splash on some water. Let's do the cube. Man, oh man. That's fantastic. I do need a head shave. So if there's any leftover lather from this, I'm going to set it aside. Uh, both brush and bowl. 
and uh, do a, uh, a head shave later on. Well, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Okay, let's rinse. Oh, you know what? I forgot my towel over here. Hang on a minute. We'll use one of these thinner towels. I have them stored below. So we'll put that right there. Okay. So that's ready to go. Let's use the cube 2.0 one more time to create a uh, pre-shaved base and get this lather painted on and get to the shave. Oh, that's nice. All righty. So here we go. I'm going to paint this on. I'm going to let the, uh, I'm going to leave the uh, shaving bowl on the counter so it doesn't slip out of my hand. I don't want to tempt fate here because the shaving cream uh, my feeling is, is that it's got some great slickness just from the feel of me painting it on with the brush right now. And look at that. Look how I painted on and look at the great coverage I have from this really nice nice Yogurty, creamy, rich shaving cream. Boy, this stuff is great. My goodness. Now, I bought this off of eBay from an eBay seller. Both the shaving cream and the aftershave. So I don't know if it's still available from that seller or not. I'll try to get a link for you from an eBay seller or an Etsy seller or someone where you can get some of this or some other online source. All right, so uh, here we are at 3.5. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. If uh, three and a half, if this blade is a little too much, we'll just turn it down. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Well, I got to tell you, the, the, the shaving cream, the blade, and the razor at three and a half, beautifully, beautifully smooth. Also feels some, also feels like it has some really nice efficiency. My gosh, is that smooth. Man, is that good. All these pearl razors have this, this wonderful smoothness to them. They really do. Boy, that's a that's terrific feel. That is, that really is. And you know, I don't see any problem with the balance or alignment on either side of this razor head. And I don't feel as if anything is off. It's absolutely splendid. Boy, this has got some nice efficiency. Some very, very good blade feel. This shaving cream really is terrific. That chlorophyll scent, very, very nice. Very different, very different. All right, we're gonna put this back in the stand. That's terrific. First pass done, let's rinse.
two days worth of beard growth, and I'm telling you, I am almost at socially acceptable. That's the thing about some of these pearl razors. They're very, very smooth, but they're deceptively aggressive. And I think a three and a half, this one is, is so. So I'm kind of right on the cusp of being socially acceptable here, really. That's kind of par for the course with, with uh, any razor that has that higher efficiency for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's terrific. I think, to be honest with you, I think it's gonna be a, I think this is gonna be a two pass shave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have extra lather for uh, a head shave later on or tomorrow. Uh, this chlorophyll scent is marvelous. It really is. There is a freshness there. There is a uh, a real. Uh, awakening, uh, the post shave feel. I know this is kind of a preview, but this, the, the feel of from the shave cream, uh, after you do a shave pass, uh, very good. It feels very, very smooth. So I'm assuming it's going to have great, great post shave feel. And again, it's been some time since I used this. I used it thinking I was going to get a review done sometime, you know, very, very quickly thereafter, but, uh, you know what, I kind of put it aside and I came back to it. This is the perfect time to do it because the weather is getting warmer, springs around the corner, and this feels like a really great shave soap for the spring. That that chlorophyll aspect really, I mean, it just screams spring awakening, renewal, that sort of thing. Absolutely fantastic. Sunshine, photosynthesis, all those things come into play. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this down to a three. Uh, right there at three, if you can see that. All right. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to go with, uh, we're going to go ahead with our second pass, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Marvelous. That's terrific. That really feels wonderful. Right around the, around the chin, no tugging, around the chin very smoothly, no tugging or pulling on the neck at all. That's marvelous. That's fantastic. I want to make sure, yeah, got that very cleanly right there in those areas by the earlobes. Terrific. That's marvelous. Okay, uh, we're going to get the rest of the little bits up underneath the nostrils. This did a fairly, fairly good job. Uh, we're going to get the uh, remainder. A lot of nice glide from the shave cream. Allow me to do a little bit of buffing and clean up there. If you notice, I'm using short strokes up there to get everything. And yeah, it did a really nice job of getting of getting everything up there. Really, really terrific. Back into the stand, second pass done. Let's rinse. The shave is done. I mean that that is fantastic. The A best blade is marvelous and the pearl flexi has some wonderful wonderful efficiency my gosh like i say these pearl razors are smooth and they can have that 
a bit more aggression, you don't realize it. So, you know, careful <laughs> because I think they have a little more aggression than you think. They're, but there's this wonderful, wonderful smoothness to them. And the Pearl Flexi definitely reflects that. So I don't think I'm going to turn it up much higher above three and a half. There are some other adjustable razors where I can turn up a little more than uh, three and a half because I think they're gauged a little milder. I think this one is gauged a little more towards the more aggressive end. Just a, just a guess on my part, but it's smooth. It's really, really smooth. That's the thing. All right. We're going to go with my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Boy, that's terrific, and what a great poche feel already. That is a nice, smooth poche feel. What a great recipe for a great shave. If you got the Pearl Flexi, get the A-Best Blade, and get some of this Barbon Shave Cream. Wow, this is really, really good stuff. I really like it a lot. Wonderful, marvelous shave. All right, cold water rinse. few extra splashes there. That's marvelous. Really, really terrific. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Now these thinner towels are pretty darn good for cleaning up poche. Pretty darn, pretty darn good. Nicely absorbent. They're thin, but they do a nice job of, of cleaning off the lather and really giving you a nice result. Nice and soft. They have a nice softness even though they're thin. I'll show you what they are again. Where's the tag? Here it is right here. Diane from Barber Towel. Right there. I bought these off of Amazon. You can get about a dozen of these for about 18 bucks, 18 20 dollars, something like that. Here, let's see if I can show that to you. Diane Fromm, okay? Just so you know, okay? I have a link to them. They're pretty darn good. Now, the thicker towel I got from uh, Sam's Club. These are their hotel towels. So if you're at the, the, this is the Members Mark Hotel Towel, okay? Can you see that? There's a tag there. Okay, Members Mark Hotel Towel. These are terrific towels. I mean, there's a beautiful thickness to them. And again, if you have a hot towel cabinet or you want to create a hot towel, this has a nice thickness to where it retains a lot of heat. I mean, you saw. I mean, the steam was coming off of that towel and it actually steamed up the mirror temporarily. It was, <laughs> it was something. Yeah, and uh, boy, gave me a great... I mean, really, really soften up the whisker. So maybe that's also coming into play too. A nice, thick, hot towel. That's part of the formula, part of the part of the recipe here as well. All right, here's my Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. We're gonna run this under some cold, cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. Oh man, I, I tell you, I got some zings there. Yeah. Uh huh. Three passes would have been, you know what? Wow. As I say, these pearl razors, they're smooth, but boy, their efficiency is very, very high. So, yeah, at least they are for me. I got some, I got some zings. Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, next time around, maybe I'm going to start at three and then dial down from there. Three and a half's getting up there, but I did have two days worth of beard growth, so... I probably could have done a third pass, but if I did the third pass, I would have turned it down to like maybe one and a half or two, somewhere in there. There's the dry dock. Here is the album block back in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the job in uh, drying it out. Okay, here is the brush. Check out the brush. Check out this ladder. Check this out. This is why we're, look at that. Wow, we're all, look at that. Look at that. Huh? That is something. I'm saving this. I am saving all this. I'm going to put it back in. Oh boy, I could probably, I probably could have used a lot less 
of uh, a lot less of the lather, that's for sure. I uh, A lot less of the cream, rather, in order to get a good lather. I probably used too much. So uh, if you get this, uh, don't use as much as I did. Uh, back off half of that, you should have enough for a shave. I have enough for uh, a head shave right here. And I'm going to leave it. Uh, as suggested by Douglas Smythe, I'm going to leave this on the brush like this and form it to a nice point like that, all right, and kind of help shape the brush and keep the shape, okay, and then uh, I'm going to leave that in there, so that's what I'm going to have there, and that way um, I'll use it for a head shave and it should all come right back with a little bit of water. All right, let's go ahead and use a little bit of this aftershave here. Okay. Oh, that's marvelous. That's, that's great. Plastic bottle, by the way. Uh, metal tube. Okay. The shave cream comes in a metal tube after shaving a plastic bottle. And I think, I can't remember what I paid for this. There's not a lot here. There's 100 milliliters there. And you're getting, uh, what are you getting here in this, in this right here? It looks like it's 85 milliliters in the shave cream, just so you know. So, um, yeah, I think it was like 20 bucks. And I think in Hungary, it's a couple of bucks, something like that. That's what I'm told. So, okay, so here we go. We're going to put a little bit on this here. You know what? That's terrific. I like this. I like this. There is, there is, uh, I don't know if it has any alcohol in it. I'll have to check the ingredients. The ingredients are kind of through the bottle here. Now, if you can zoom in on that. And check that out. It'll let you know if it's in Hungarian. Let you let you know. I don't know if the I don't know if it's in Hungarian or English. Hard to see, hard for me to see that. That's a little little too small. Uh, but uh, it's got some. It feels like it has. Okay, a little bit of kick right now. I'm not sure if it has alcohol, but it sure did feel like there were some moisturizing properties there. I'm not entirely sure. It's just kind of the way it feels. It just could be, uh, I could be mistaken. There could be some alcohol in there. I'm not entirely sure. So my apologies for that. But it feels very, very nice. And I'm getting this nice post-shave kind of kick that I would get from, say, Diver Down from the Spike Nard or uh, a Bay Rum or uh, a mentholated uh, shave soap, like uh, a mentholated aftershave like a Parasso or an Awesome Sauce from PAA. That sort of thing. So here we're going to go with a little bit of uh, Mysterium Serum right here up above. And again, I need a head shave, so I'm not going to just, I'm not going to drench too much, apply too much, just on top. And I am going to, boy, this is good stuff. This I love this scent. Just a few drops and get kind of a scented balm up there. Boy, that's terrific. I like this scent a lot. And I really do like the post-shave feel and the way that splash felt on my skin. Oh, man. Great, great shave. This was really, really wonderful. A very, very wonderful, surprising, performing shave soap and aftershave. Uh, who knew? All the way from Hungary, Barbon, the shave cream and the aftershave. Boy, these are really, really wonderful. If you have a chance to get them, please pick them up. I think you will be delighted with the performance of both of them. I sure am. Uh, so much so, I might take this out of the plastic bottle and put it in one of my glass bottles uh, and see if that improves a little bit as we had a discussion about aftershaves in uh, glass bottles being a little bit better than in the uh, plastic bottle, so I might do that. And I'm probably gonna get some more. This is really very, very good. So check it out, Barbon Shaving Cream and Aftershave Splash, all the way from Hungary. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you all the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.